Tonight we're finding out more about a massive industrial spill in our area. Now we first told you about it last night. The city of Austin reported more than 700,000 gallons of waste from Samsung flowed into a local waterway. Well, the company says they've repaired the source of the leak since then. KXN's Tara Rachman spent today speaking with neighbors and joins us now live from Samsung's factory in Austin. Tara, what were you able to find out today? That's right, Britt and Robert. Well, you know, we found that the city staff had actually found traces of this spill in the waterway that connects to this creek behind me, but not necessarily inside the creek itself just yet. The Texas Commission on Environmental Quality says Samsung notified the state agency the same day they found that leak, and then the state agency notified city staff a few days after that. But many of the neighbors that we spoke with earlier today still had no idea about the spill. And now that they do know, they're worried about the possible impact it could have. According to the company's report to the TCEQ, Samsung says the leak started under a floor, leading to acidic wastewater in an on-site stormwater pond, and then flowing into a tributary of Harris Branch Creek. I was shocked. Heidi Wasserberger lives downstream. You know, that's crazy. TCEQ says they have not found any impact to people from the discharge. While the company calls it industrial waste and TCEQ describes it as diluted acidic wastewater, the city called it sulfuric acid in a press release. Alex Ortiz, water specialist with the Sierra Club, says the chemical is corrosive on contact. For the most part, you see difficulty with breathing due to swelling, in addition to potential burns, whether on the skin or lungs, mouth, throat. The city of Austin says they found virtually no surviving aquatic life within the tributary until it connects with the main branch of Harris Branch Creek. But, say, further downstream, there didn't seem to be any impact to water chemistry or wildlife. So what we don't know is whether or not that's going to have a prolonged effect on the tributary itself. TCEQ says Samsung continues to treat the water and report daily updates to the agency. Ortiz says it's good that Samsung is working with authorities, but Wasserberger still has concerns. So I walk my dog um, all around here. Now, Samsung says they've already added better monitoring systems and stronger measures to make sure that this does not happen again. They also tell us that they are already working to restore the health of that tributary. Britt, Robert. Tahara, thank you. 2022 marks 50 years of the Clean Water Act, which creates a structure for regulating pollution in U.S. waters. A Trump administration rule called Waters of the United States was finalized in 2020 and narrowed the types of waterways that qualify for federal protection under the Clean Water Act. But in June of last year, the Biden administration began legal action to repeal that rule.